is time to talk about gay representation in Ruby. Okay. Woo! So the last time. Ow! Don't hit me. Okay. So, uh, anyways. Uh, so. Uh, why are you more excited? The gay. The ship I am excited. Landed. I'm just hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. So if you guys enjoyed this, remember to become patrons over on Patreon. It is only a dollar to help out the channel. But if you guys want early access to all of our videos and to participate in polls and stuff like that, this it's the, uh, the only split, a dollar. So there the you go. The seas has split. The fucking the the they ate all our chocolates. What they, are you they, talking they, about? The, the award, I would like to thank my mother. The Oscar goes to okay, the gays have it, landed. Stop it, stop it, Okay. The so, rainbow touches the last ground. Last time we did this video, it was for our LGBT fundraiser, okay? We so, don't want your money. We just want your gays. So, yeah. And so, um, that video got over 8,000 views. So, it was called LGBT characters in Ruby, but now we actually have representation. Or now it can be the LGBT yeah. character so, in Ruby. Yeah, so... Okay, so first of all, I want to talk about Ilya real quick. So yeah. a lot of people, I feel like, are going to be pissy that she's a villain and she's gay. But I, I don't think she's a villain. I don't think she's even villainous, okay? So we've talked about this in our other Ilya videos that you guys will see this week. But, like, I don't think she's a villain. I think she's just a heartbroken person who has been manipulated by she, everybody. I think not only, like, a heartbroken person from Blake, but a heartbroken person in general. Like from she's society, seen her family yeah. Die. She's her family a died in a dust mine. I don't believe that evil just... I mean, maybe people... I believe people are psychopaths, but I believe pe most people are genuinely good and they try to act in a way that is moral. Yeah. And I feel like Ilya is trying to act in a way that is moral, that she sees a world as corrupt and she's fighting for a better place and she has morals. She wants to convince Blake uh, to leave. She still cares about people she cares about. Yeah. I don't think she's like Salem. That she's a villain of high fantasy. That she is. I mean, even evil. Salem is kind of the friendship villain. Yeah, even she, even she's kind of a mom. But you get what I'm saying. She's yeah, not yeah. just evil to be evil. Yeah, she's not and Patrick I feel like Bateman. Salem isn't either. But we haven't just seen it yet. But and she's so, not. She's not a psychopath. You and know? I feel like making Ilya a psychopath would diminish Adam's character considerably. Yeah, because Adam, Adam is, is supposed kind to be of a the psychopath. psychopath. And so, like, I know a lot of people will get mad because they're like, okay, but why don't why don't we get a good gay person? But I don't think. I think this she, world has done such a good job of making it clear that there is no good and evil. There's no clear good and evil Especially, anymore. I think she's just like someone, I, 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 think, I think I wrapped it up pretty good that she's, she's you know, maybe she is not the greatest like she's, she's, she's doing her best. She's try. I think she's trying she's operating what she sees as morally in an undoubtedly unjust world or yeah. a world that has treated and her And I unjustly. hate like even in our society when people are like that somebody is evil. No, like they had to end up doing these actions somehow and i get that if you mean psychopath but Ilya does not show anything that a psychopath she, i don't does think she's all. a psychopath no. and so i feel like people gotta chill with that and i personally don't mind having gay villains like no. like even if they're villain villains like uh you know scar kind of gives me some gay vibes in the lion oh, king you yeah know there's, what I mean? a, there's and a, so, a really good documentary called do i sound gay about like the stereotypically feminine gay dude voice and they talk about how a lot of villains like scar disney yeah. villains had that and, voice and scar is like a great character and he's not evil just to be evil he well, kind of like he feels like he got cheated out of the crown kind of well, so he has some motivation what's the guy's name from, from hamlet claudius claudius okay i was thinking of um, i have hamlet guy. on my exam in two weeks so like we gotta get that done um but yeah so i you know he's not even claudius okay so claudius and hamlet isn't evil just to be evil he feels genuinely bad about killing his bro brother but he loves gertrude so much that he had to do it. He feels like he had to do it. He's not just a power-hungry man. He has this little not thing when he's praying in sort of in Act 3 in that area that he's not just like, <clears throat> I'll kill my brother. No, like he genuinely feels bad about doing it, but he just loved Gertrude so much that he didn't feel like he had another choice. You know what I mean? Even in Hamlet, like, Hamlet has no, like, good and evil intentionally because it's to show that Hamlet thinks that he's in the right, but he's actually, like, kind of lost himself on that path. And so that's why they both die at the end, because they have to cleanse Denmark. Uh, so sorry, I, I know that was kind of nerdy. I just wanted to talk about that. I, but yeah, too, I went feel... to grade 12 English. Okay, English. this is a university class. Okay, so calm, calm your tits. All right. Well, that's when I read Hamlet. I know, English. but we're reading it again. So, um... Round two, kids. Yeah, exactly. And so I feel like that people are kind of too quick to assume, like, oh, Ilya's a bad guy. Like, no, I don't think there is such, I don't think there is such thing as a bad guy to an extent. Inherently bad. Like, yeah, exactly. Like, Other than I psychopath. mentioned this earlier, but. We're, I think we're circling ourselves. Yeah. We agreed. We've come to this conclusion. But I'm saying, if Ilya was the protagonist of an, a novel, let's yes. say, 
we would we would be rooting for her. You know what I mean? Yes. Like we, she would be. I don't want to say she would be the hero, but she would sort of be like the Alphaba of the thing, where yeah, we know like, that Alphaba's like means aren't always like, the best, but like we know her story. We know that like we that know she, why she's exactly. a justified villain, and so we would feel for her and have empathy for her. And so like even again, Alphaba and Wicked is just so like misjudged that everybody else pushes her. I feel like Away. I feel like we properly explained you know? it that it's representation, it's good representation, I think. And yeah. then like we also talked where we think she's going as a character, but maybe if we can almost reiterate that, like because yeah. we don't really know. And also, there's this thing I mentioned before as a joke earlier that someone said, "Oh, she's the psychotic lesbian girlfriend um, trope." I'm like, that's not a trope. Barrier gaze is a trope. Yeah. Do you think they're gonna kill off? No, Ilya? I don't think so. I worry that they might. I don't think they're gonna kill her off to bury the gays, if that makes sense. Well, like, I, mean, I don't think they're gonna intentionally do well, it. Because some shows have intentionally done it, like the 100. Well, I feel like I feel like I feel, I feel like, like she's gonna die. I feel like it is, is a trope for a reason because people who write gay characters, usually even people who are like sympathetic to it, they see gay people as inherently tragic, and yeah. so they give them tragic ends. A la barrier gaze. Yeah, so I, so I don't like, think that's why they like, do it. Though. But I'm worried because they've made her very tragic. They didn't give like a happy like Nora isn't a lesbian. Like they haven't given, you know, like the happy go lucky. I see what you mean. Gay. I don't think that's even necessarily a problem because they. I feel like they wouldn't. Okay, so say that because Ilya wasn't liked... gay and she just like really liked Blake as a friend. Yes. Okay, so I feel like she they're, would still friends, defend her Mom. against Adam and then die like for her yeah. against Adam, right? And so the only way that Gary bury your gaze works is if you say, okay, if they weren't gay, would they still die? If the answer is no, they wouldn't. That means the writer did it because they are gay. There's a difference. Like for example, like in my books. Everyone dies at the end. If they were straight, they would still die at the end. It has nothing to do with being gay. It has everything to do with me killing everyone. <laughs> like, it doesn't matter, you know what I mean? And so with Ilya, I feel like when we examine that, we need to decide, okay, if this is a, g a barrier gays trope, we have to see, okay, if they were gay, if this was a straight romance, would they die? And I think in a straight romance, it's still pretty common for the guy to sacrifice himself in battle. I like, feel like if like, this was um, straight, like, cause, like, like, a Gale? Like, I don't know if Gale's a great comparison. From Hunger Games? Yeah. The guy who, he survived. I know, but I'm saying, I don't think it's a great, that's why I'm saying, I yeah. don't think it's a great comparison, so, but you okay. have this idea where, like. But it's a trope, the idea that, yeah. like, the person, like, go on without me, and it's almost always a dude. Yeah. So you imagine, like, we talked about if it was Gera or Kylie Gera, earlier yeah, in the week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now we're talking, like, if it's her, and I think that if she was straight and they were just friends, then yeah, I think she would still do that. Yeah, because Sun would do it. Yeah, Sun would do and that And so too. I feel like that's why it's not a barrier gaze thing, because if Sun would do it. But I also. He also has feelings for her, so yeah. how's it. How but, but then, different? but there's a reason they choose, and I, I think. I feel like it has to do with with the idea that gay people are inherently yeah tragic. i agree with you but i don't think they necessarily do i it hope for that, that they reason. don't do it i i'm worried that they here's might. the other thing though yeah. sun also apparently has some sort of tragic backstory that we haven't, we haven't seen heard. yet it's mentioned in morning follows night i don't know and so i feel like yeah and so okay. i feel like it's supposed to be a juxtaposition again like that Ilya has this tragic backstory and Sun has the same tragic backstory but they went on totally different paths Sun resents the white fang so much while Ilya has joined I also feel like the I also feel like something that is 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 sort of left out a lot of the time is the idea of like unrequited love in yeah. LGBT fiction which i feel like that's really good that they did that mm -hmm. that's kind of nice uh, yeah. that's, that's like, that's like maybe, maybe also sort of works into the idea that gay people are inherently tragic, but in like sort of a less, um, I mean, and in, in a less, in a less barrier gay way. As like know. the, as like the gay girl here though, like, I don't know. Like I would say that my life has been a bit tragic, you know what I mean? And maybe it's not because I'm like, maybe it's not because of that. Relative. Maybe it is like, Relative. I don't know. Like. I, I would say that I, you know... I, I, have a conviction. I understand why people don't like it, but the fact is, is that it's kind of a reality. Like, it's different. You know what I mean? Like, you have... I feel like you have a lot more unrequited love situations when, like, you're a gay person rather than you're a straight person. Like, all the girls I ever liked in high school turned out to be straight. And the ones that didn't turn out to be straight already no, had No, there was a lot of... There was a lot of... There no. Was a few. I had three... I, I had three two. people that I liked... And out two. of those three people, two, three, two. Three. Oh no! Out of the three people, two of them were gay. No. Okay, so short hair that you stalked. Yeah. She long was gay. hair that name starts with a J. Yeah. 
she, 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 no. No. You didn't like her? No, I yes, did, did like her, but yeah. she wasn't she okay. wasn't interested so fucking, in girls. Yeah, oh well yeah she was. No, she wasn't. Yeah, she wasn't. She no, told she us. Wasn't. Didn't she? She told you. No, I think you're getting confused. No, you And then there was another Anyways. girl that I liked and she also wasn't interested. It was interested. totally she had a boyfriend. Two, it was totally two out of three, but I digress. It, it was the long haired girl that you're thinking of also had a boyfriend. Well yeah, but I think she's wrong both ways. Uh uh it doesn't That's matter. What fucking told. It's anyway. unrequited, Hunter. It doesn't matter. Okay, and I and I've liked more girls than that too. Like in elementary school, I can think of at least two other girls I liked in elementary school. That again, so that's five. Even if you're even if you're two for five, you're still two for five. Mm. Like that's a lot. And so like I I don't know. Like obviously straight people get rejected, but everybody is. What do you mean? Not once in my life. <laughs> They've all said yes. No, but everybody assumes like everybody assumes that you're straight. Yes. Right. Yeah. And no, so that, that is true. Like, as a gay person, you have to worry about whether they're gay or not. As a straight person, you just yeah. assume that they're straight. You don't even I, think I, about I them I mentioned being that gay. earlier, the idea of unrequited gay love. Yeah. And so I feel like, like, I know that people, like, don't want to see the tragedy because the tragedy is already happening the, to them. It, it, I think but at the same time, the tragedy is realistic. I think that it, maybe it's realistic, but that's all they ever, you seem to get. Yeah. And, and so I, I feel that's like that's why people people go to a fantasy world because they want to escape the pain people in their also own lives, people also dislike you know? a lot of gay fiction. That's why I, like there's there like Simon versus the Homo Sapiens agenda. They turned that into a movie. It's coming out soon. Yeah, and it I, has a good ending? Question mark. It was okay. Like the book was just also like like it's only about like oftentimes gay. That's why I, I kind of disliked that book and really liked. Um, the abyss surrounds us because the abyss surrounds us was just like they're gay characters but they're interesting they have other struggles yeah with simon versus the homo sapiens agenda it was really just like it was a book about coming out and i definitely think we need those which i think they're important I but would... i feel like it's oversaturated and oftentimes oh, yeah, it's people true. oftentimes it's straight people writing them so they think that the only interesting part about a gay person yeah. is the fact that they they come out as gay. So I think that's also like, one of the issues. Yeah, That's I one agree. of the issues with, with barrier gays is the idea that, like, okay, they're And gay. Miles and Carrie aren't gay women, they, and they, so that's, they, that's kind of They're gay. They did the gay thing. What else can we do? Might as well kill them. I think yeah. that's the second half of... Which I hope that they don't do. I don't. But I feel like with characters like oh, Emerald, worry. who are probably also gay at this point, like let's. I imagine real. if it was Emerald and like the two Breaking Bad, Breaking Good. And girls so get Illy, together, or, I I'm don't think that bad. Emerald has gonna die anytime soon. And so I feel like okay, I don't know how to explain this, but I read this book and it was called History of All You Left. Uh, History is all you left me. I thought it was History of the Gays. I'm like really. No. Uh, and so uh, the the writer is gay too. And so basically what happens is is that the um, main character's ex-boyfriend drowns, and then the current boyfriend of that ex that died comes to the funeral. And basically, like, everything just ensues, I guess. Like, bad things. Uh, and so then, sort of later in the book, the uh, main character gets with his boyfriend, and he's kind of like... He kind of looks up to, like, heaven and is like, well, fuck you, my ex. You know what I mean? Like, he does it as a revenge for somebody who is dead. You know what I mean? And so I feel like, yeah, they kind of buried your gays because the all, the other gay characters did. But at the same time, it wasn't just, it wasn't a book about being gay. It was a book about losing somebody and then sort of, I don't want to say being irrational, but kind of losing your mind a little bit because he is talking to somebody who is dead throughout the entire book. And not only that, but he fucks, like his ex-boyfriend's current boyfriend that is also struggling the loss of, like, the, their shared person who has died, right? And he just, like, has sex with him for the sole reason of getting revenge on somebody who can't even see it Yeah, anymore. so, like, like often, like, that story, up. that story could exist as straight people, but it exists as gay people. Yeah, exactly. And so I feel like often, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's the, the idea of that is just, like, a, and so straight I feel people like as the standard. With Ilya, this could happen with Sun. Like, yeah. and so it's not, I, I don't, don't feel like it it's them that being, dark. I, no, 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 like, that son would sacrifice himself the same way, I'm saying. Maybe. Like, son would sacrifice himself the same way as Ilya if Ilya does die, you know what I mean? And so I feel like then it's not really, like, a barrier gaze thing, because if it would happen to son, like, it's just an interchangeable story. I hope no one has sense. to die, I don't think Ilya and son have to die, I'm just worried that that trouble come. Like, cause, like, I think even because we have to work first off from we have a to business worry about... perspective I don't think they'd kill off Ilya because they'd no. get accused of that also they people would keep really her alive. like Ilya yeah and I so I really like Ilya 
from that perspective, like, forget about writing, okay? Forget about tropes, forget about writing, forget about what Miles and Carrie want to do. Like, there are people in charge of them, obviously. There's the producer, there's Gray? Is his name Gary? Gray, what the fuck? Gray yeah, there's G his Gray. Name is just Gray. There's he's Bernie, like, obviously. There's Mad other Holland. people that run the company, right? And they're gonna be like, okay, even if you want to kill Ilya, you can't, okay? Because we're gonna get accused of being homophobic, okay? And that's bad for business. They're gonna keep Ilya alive because, in my perspective, because it's bad for business, and it is bad for business. Yeah, it is. And people so, really like that, and people have been like, have people been... love her. Like uh, everybody loves her. That I've talked to most of the like most of the time. There's some instances of course but that's like any character um and so like again forgetting about writing from a business perspective they're gonna keep her around like i don't see bernie being like oh well we had one like no because they are aware of the community they know who they're dealing with at this point like somebody mentioned this in one of my shipping videos like cal you're the first thing that comes up whenever a ship is mentioned yes that's true like do you, you think if, that they don't know how you guys feel? Like, even if they don't watch all of your videos, like, they've at least seen one and they know. Like, you, they do you understand. Think, do you think they're aware of us, really? I think so. Like, genuinely. Because I know if you Somebody's look... unblocking my videos every time I email fan projects. They have yeah. to watch at least a couple seconds. They know who we... They know us at this point. Right? Even if they're not, oh, that Calaxon girl said that. Like, no, they've seen our videos. They probably have it looks through some of the comments, even though they don't want to. Like, they know the community that they're dealing with. We pop up, like, whenever they're a shit also, is talking I'm about. sure that, I, like, also if you Google, like, Bumblebee or White Rose, we are one yeah. of the first videos that show Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Whenever you, like, even if you look up LGBT characters yeah. in Ruby, yeah, we're, we're the first, first thing that pops up. Yeah. And so, when you think about that that way, you kind of have to say, okay... Like, they know who they're dealing with, no matter what they want to do as writers. And I will always respect what and they also, want to do as writers. There's a kept, business side. People kept asking them, like, what about the gay rep? What about the gay characters? And so, They're evil. Like, you know, like, they kept asking. Yeah, also, and they kept talking. They hid this from us for two volumes. Can we just talk about that? <laughs> it's so it was, awesome. It was most, it was, like, totally obvious. Like, I mean, it was clear that, like, okay, we for assumed. Us. We, assume, we don't know if everybody was okay, like so that. Okay, so we assumed, like, at least on our part, that, like, okay, this was gonna happen. But the fact that it was so, like, bittersweet that it was like, yes, we can have confirmed a gay character, but not a gay relationship. That's, yeah. I feel like they totally, I don't want to say even, my mom said calm down, but she said that, like, four hours ago. <laughs> anyway. It's gotten worse since then. It's gotten worse We've since then. We've been screaming. I know. Um, oh, goodness. Anyway, sorry. What was I talking about again? The gays. Okay, so <laughs> I I feel like again I feel like this is good representation. I feel like Ilya is a relatable, non evil like she's not she's a character that is free dimensional. The only thing about her isn't that she's gay, and I feel like that's why they waited realistically because they didn't want to come out of the gates with I'm gay for you, Blake. That is my entire motivation. That is everything I care about. No, they built her up so they showed her in volume four, then they showed her backstory with her parents. And then they said she was gay. I think that's the way to do it. They, 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 yeah. And it they, wasn't even, like, it wasn't that, like, a lot of people were worried about how the first gay character would come out, right? A lot of people were worried about how they would, like, work it in naturally, especially because, I want to do a separate video on this, but Remnant is a gender equal society or something that's been confirmed. The egalitarian? Egalitarian. Egla and so a lot of homophobia stems from sexism. And so I'd like to do a separate video on that. Like, for example... Like, um, you know, like, the fact that, uh, like, I guess that, you know, like, the conquering women sort of things that guys have, and so, like, then when, like, kind of gay guys exist, that is threatening to, like, uh, the idea of, like, again, like, fucking girls, I guess, like, conquering women and sort of having, uh, power, what, what or that kind about? of, like, that or straight men that... see gay people as feminine and somehow that's a bad thing to be or it's feminine. Or it's a threat to, like, the nuclear family. Yeah, or something like that. And so if that doesn't exist, if sexism doesn't really exist in Remnant, then I would say that the homophobia would be different. I don't want to say it's not existent, but it would be different, right? Because, again, there's kind of that idea, like, that, um, like, again, a lot of people criticize, like, gay men for being too feminine, but why is feminine a bad thing? Yeah. And that kind of goes back to girls being weaker than men sort of thing, right? And so if that doesn't really happen in Remnant, then that kind of is gone. And so a lot of people were like, well, how would they do that? Because if there's not really any, like, if there's not homophobia like that, what kind of also, homophobia would of, there be, a lot if any? Of, unfortunately, a lot of homophobia also has religious subtext. Yeah, and, and there's, and there's no, no religion in Remnant, right? Uh, and so you kind of, this is, crows I mean, like, not too many I people. 
would, that religious I would, I would, these I would days. save this information if we are doing another video, but do we really have to do another video on this? I want to in the future, but that's okay. probably during the hiatus. I don't mean this week okay, or anything. Okay, so like, okay, so sociology professor basically explained to this. This guy has a PhD. I would trust him. So when you look, like, you see the idea of the nuclear family and also widespread homophobia, it also sort of existed, uh, like, the spread of homophobia, it, it seemed to, to heighten itself, or even the idea of homosexuality as existing heightened itself um, after the Industrial Revolution, because basically it was an affront to the nuclear family, and the nuclear family existed for industrial reasons. You know, there's the man who goes out does the work like comes basically home. economic it, yeah sort is, of stuff, is looked yeah. after by the wife who then raises the children who then can replace their role and, and, then be, con and be consumers yeah. and so if you have gay people that that ruins that so it's all an, about capitalism there's an argument to say that that or like that sort of industrial capitalism uh, caused a homophobia or is an origin of homophobia yeah I totally agree. And so that's kind of what I was talking about. I know at first you were like, what are you going on about, Cal? But I feel like we're on the same page now. So, yeah, there's also that, right? And so I feel like this was so natural, if that makes sense. You know yeah. what I mean? Because it wasn't like, I am gay. Like, I have come out to you as gay. Like, no. She said, um, I, like... You were too busy falling in love with Adam to notice I always, like, wanted you to look at me that way. You know, it's jealousy. And jealousy just happens to everyone, whether you're straight or you're gay, I would say. You know what I mean? And so it was very natural. It wasn't like, her, 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 like, I am out of the closet. Like, no, it wasn't like that. And I appreciate that. Although it was that. definitely like a drop the hat moment. It was, definitely. But I feel like... But it wasn't, but it wasn't as like, I am gay. Like, like even it if that was a male character, I feel like it would have still been that way. Yes. To an extent. Or even if it would have been like sisterly or even yeah. friendly. Even like between like... Like, like even between the, the, the chat between Weiss and with Weiss and Yang. And I feel like that chat was wonderful and that we haven't like quite talked about it to the degree well i mean understandably because this is kind of big it was all cool deal. it was a big deal but yeah i mean th that would really happen regardless of yeah the, of gar the romantic. regardless of gender of it would have been like i wish that you liked me like that because Ilya never had any real indication that wasn't like subtitle that she and we sort of already feeling. saw that earlier in that yeah. episode so and so yeah, I you mean... Get, I, so, in conclusion... In conclusion... It's good representation. I think so, too. It's representation. And, like, you guys may be like, well, what does Hunter know? Like, remember that Hunter is being backed up by me, basically. Like, everything that Hunter thinks is basically also what I think. And Hunter even has some better points than me, because he is taking uh, sociology this semester, as previously mentioned. And so, like, I, I n no offense to any of the other Ruby YouTubers, but I feel like me and Totali have a very unique perspective because we are both gay women and we have both gone through like being gay You've been in high blue school. Balled. Yeah, we okay. I meant like more like You've we both, been blue balled. We both have You probably okay. have more knowledge of being blue balled than any of the other we, Ruby we, centric lesbians. And so that's what I mean. Like not to like hate on like the bigger like Ruby YouTubers or anything, but y'all don't know what it's like being a gay girl. And that's fine. Like I don't know what it's like being a man. I don't know what it's like being it's great, like, you should try it out. <laughs> I don't know what it's like being a gay man. I don't know, know anything except for my own experience. And so that's not a drag to anybody, but it's just like, you know, I feel like we just all need to listen to each other's, like, you know, unique Expertise. experience. <laughs> and, like, when, like, if there was ever, like, a race issue in Ruby, I would not pretend to know anything about it. I know nothing about it. I'm Which literally kind the of whitest the white... fucking person ever. Which is kind of what the white thing is, Yeah, really. it's supposed to be and, coded. And, really, and, I really, and that's and... why I haven't really talked about it that much, because fuck, what do I know? Which, like, I, I think I brought that back up, like, after I, I'd hear people who were, who were like, you know, uh, the, like, black people, and they talked about how they felt about Sienna Khan dying, and I did sort of change my tone about sort of Sienna Khan after, yeah. like, hearing about their experiences and, and their relationship relationship with that and because like we have to society. understand each other that's yes. the most important thing and so i like like i was heartbroken about sienna's death so i can't yeah, use that I mean, as a comparison but like if i really needed to do an, a video about racism i'd either call like another ruby youtuber and ask them to help me with it or i talk to my grandparents do some research or even that because like Oh, they were, because uh, they were immigrants. Yeah, and so time. my grandparents immigrated here back at a time when, like, um, basically this is a true story, but, like, they were trying to go to a pool, and the pool had a sign that said, like, no Jewish people, right? Because that is kind of, they were they World were War II. They were World War II around, and so they tried to go in, and they said that, like, 
oh, like, you're Jewish, we can't let you in. And then they were like, no, we're Italian, like, you dumbass. And then they were like, oh, but that's even worse. <laughs> and so that's oh, what happened. Like, Nono has had some, and like, somebody beat him up for not standing to, like, for the national anthem because he didn't know that then he was supposed to do that. Like, my grandparents have a very, like, interesting uh, racism experience, if that makes sense. Because people don't really, like, there is a hierarchy of European countries oh, that a absolutely. lot of people don't realize. Like, Italy was at the bottom for oh, a while. Fuck. You know yes. what I'm saying? Yes, yes, yes. And so... Till, till they realized y'all had good food and they sort of, like, felt their care about it. <laughs> yeah. And so, like, when you kind of consider that, like, I don't have the experience, but if I really needed to ask, I have people I can ask. And I would ask those people. And so, I encourage you guys to come talk to us on our Discord server. Talk to Totally on her Discord server. Like, if you guys really, really need to understand this issue, like, talk to some gay girls. Talk to some gay people in general. Just, like, let's just talk to each other. You know what I mean? Say talk one poor in that sentence. Anyway, if you guys want to talk to us, you guys should become patrons on Patreon or you should join our Discord server. As always, this video is the start of a dialogue and so we can uh, all talk to each other and everything will be fun. And so, uh, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed all of our videos this week or you're uh, currently enjoying them, whatever, uh, whatever's happening and I hope that you enjoyed and we'll see you later. Bye guys.